Yeah, so last week as I was roaming, I came across um, some very interesting uh, innovators last week. Uh, first of all, mm -hmm. let me just throw a major shout out for Innovation Village. They have an innovation week coming up uh, soon. Uh, so we actually did a, an interview with uh, Japheth and a couple of other guys from their, from their hub. Okay. So we met guys from MQuid. They are doing um, an integrated farm solution or registration uh, solution that uh, is dealing in coffee. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a pretty awesome, um, it's a pretty awesome invention or innovation that they're putting out there. So uh, just just watch this and see how they are actually doing this. Uh, uh, let us know how you guys feel about this. So uh, Jafet is uh, from the Innovation Village. Uh, probably we would like him to tell us what his position is here and uh, briefly what the Innovation Village is all about. And then we've been talking about the Innovation Week, which is coming up. So he'll give us a download on that. So Jeff, let's take it away. And, and so the, the concept of uh, the Innovation Village was built around the challenges that entrepreneurs in Uganda face. Mm. Um, we've all heard that Uganda is the most entrepreneurial country in the world. Mm. And yet 95% of these ventures die in the first year of operation. Okay. So you, when you look at how we are currently building entrepreneurs, it's mostly through innovation competitions. We currently have about 15 different types of innovation competitions. Okay. Um, and out of 100 submissions, mm. they select the top three. Okay. And they're supported with $2,000, $1,000, uh, $500, which is not enough uh, for any of these to actually become a business. Interesting. So okay. essentially, the top three die, but it goes without saying that mm. the 97 die. Mm. So the question we've always been asking is what happens to the 97 ventures that did submit and were not successful. So what happens is is um, is people are moving from idea to idea mm. without actually you know, trying to explore the viability behind uh, the venture they're trying to build. So okay. they move from competition to competition. So we built the innovation village mm. to be a destination for those 97. And when they come, mm. we explore uh, what's the business behind this concept. So we're a destination entrepreneurs call home. Okay. And looking at the work we've done, we've been able to pull together uh, 2,000 entrepreneurs to date in under two years mm. to explore uh, the resources they need is it the capital, is it the network, is it the community? Mm. And while doing that, we're able to also attract uh, global and uh, regional uh, companies okay. to collocate with entrepreneurs. Okay, yeah, so um, you, you also spoke about the Innovation Week, which yeah. is uh, coming yeah. up. Yeah, so the concept behind the Innovation Week, which is you know, five days of profiling and giving visibility, mm entrepreneurs who are building solutions for tomorrow is surrounding uh, the fact that U Uganda needs to step up to its you know, true recognition in the region mm. as an entrepreneurial, innovative country. One of the big challenges we have realized with uh, innovators and entrepreneurs is they're building brilliant solutions, mm. you know, solutions that are transforming industry, solutions that are transforming uh, community, but no one knows about them. Yeah, definitely. And, and they can't tell that story because mm. you're trying to build something and it's not yet there. So, is you know, so the, the so the innovation week is going to converge uh, mm. the ecosystem mm. of players. It's going to bring together startups, innovators, entrepreneurs. It's mm. going to bring together partners like uh, the government, ministry, the city. Okay. Uh, it's going to bring together uh, development agencies. Um, it's going to bring together corporate partners mm. who, and it's going to bring together investors. So it's going to be five days of interaction, of engagement, uh, to explore new opportunities to collaborate, to explore new opportunities to build networks as a way of you know, putting Uganda on, on the map of... Uh, mm. So uh, tentatively, when is it going to be? So it's going to be on uh, November 27th. Okay. to December 1st. Mm. Uh, so key activities in there will have a uh, data hack, mm. uh, looking at data science, what's the actual role of data in an organization. We've heard that data is the new oil. Mm. Now we're going to go into further details of that. And then we also build technology solutions around mm. uh, uh, agriculture, around health, around climate. 
which is uh, what uh, some of uh, the solutions like Mokwit here mm. uh, does uh, present. Uh, mm. That that you know, for me, every day is uh, three to five discussions with innovators that blow okay. my mind off based <laughs> on what they're working on. In Uganda. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, so mm. yeah, sounds mean, sounds uh, sounds pretty good. Uh, uh, back in the day, I used to only interact with innovators during hackathons. Yeah. And maybe if I'm I'm, I'm watching something on CNN yeah. or a YouTube clip, I need to see. I think the, I think the work that you guys are doing locally here. Another world is possible, and it's <laughs> happening right here. Yeah, definitely. Like yeah. So I I met them earlier. We had a quick chat here yeah. and there, but um, I think it's it's now now is your time, you guys, really blow us away and tell us what Moquid is really all about. Specifically, we're talking about uh, farm print, yeah. Yeah, which I which I find very unique when you integrate uh, agriculture and take, I feel like you guys are, are joining two generations of Ugandans, the farmers, uh, the innovators and whatnot. So yeah, can uh, tell us uh, briefly what uh, Farmprint is all about? Uh, Farmprint is a concept, it's mm. uh, an idea that we came up with, mm. basically a, a traceability platform mm. that tracks uh, farmers mm. and, uh, and their produce. Okay. And uh, the basic problems we're trying to address here are two. Number one is price trans transparency. The, the customers do not know how much that their coffee is selling at the international market. So mm. we are trying to build an application that is going to bring the prices from, from, from wherever they are to the farmer so they know that uh, my kilogram of coffee is selling at this price. Okay. Uh, then secondly is uh, the, the international buyers pay premium price for traceable coffee. So if your coffee is from Bordeaux, mm. it will attract an extra maybe 0 0.5 percent, uh, uh, 0 0.5 of a dollar more than the, the, that one that is non-traceable. So wow. what we're building is is coffee that is traceable that can attract premium pricing mm. on the international market. Mm. And basically, those are the two current problems, core problems we are having. Oh, of course. So solution based. Uh, quick one, Jeffrey. If I'm, I forgot to ask, um, seeing as uh, the, the dealing in agricultural tech, could you just tell us briefly? what sort of innovators we have here at the Innovation Village. So, so interestingly, when you look at, again, how the competition is happening, mm. you get a solution in agribusiness mm. and you compare it with a solution in health and mm. climate, and they say, oh, the solution in health one. Mm. But what we're doing is we're building labs. Uh, so you have an agribusiness lab, you have a climate lab, mm. you have a, an ed tech lab, you have a, a, a fintech lab. Mm. Uh, you have, so we have about six different labs that have uh, about 100 entrepreneurs each. Okay. And, and we explore you know, possibilities within the sector instead of comparing uh, solutions in each of, uh, oh. of the sectors. So a solution like this mm. that, uh, for me, what, what, what strikes me most about this is it, it, uh, it's, it's talking to the farmer mm. in, in Bududa. So for example, if, if, uh, if uh, when they were pitching it, what, what really hit me mm. was uh, if you are in New York, for example, mm. and you, you know, put down your cup of coffee on the smart table in Starbucks, mm. you'll be able to see that this coffee came from the uh, port of, 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 of New York, port of Amsterdam, port of Mombasa, Kampala, uh, then Kududa, to a farmer called uh, Wepukulu, right? <laughs> and this is his family, mm. this is what he does. Mm -hmm. You know, so such a farmer can, you know, Get okay. a premium price for Very interesting. So it's a uh, mobile best. Is it web best? Uh, what's the, what, what's the solution platform? What does it? Well, it's two way. I mean, mm. um, we use the mobile mm. to, call, to collect all the information, mm. such as the farmer details, farmer household composition, how many wives does he have, how many children does he have. Mm. Then we also collect a lot more information, such as um, how does he how does he use his land, mm. how much land does he own. How does he use, how much land does he use for coffee and how much does he use for any other activity? Okay. Um, what we also do is that um, we also track the coffee purchases mm. uh, that is being sold through the processor. For example, uh, all these farmers go through the different branches. Uh, we're working with a close uh, with the processor in Kampala. Okay. So um, the processors got agents in the different regions. Mm. They Whenever they would do a transaction for coffee, they actually input all the details into the app. Okay. So what it does is that with the app, we use it as a collection tool for data. Then all this data is curated into um, a dashboard, which is web-based, a very beautiful uh, dashboard that um, 
mm. shows all the details with regards to coffee. Yeah, speaking, speaking of uh, inputting data, is, is it the farmers that do it themselves or, or you have uh, resources that do that for them? It's the resources from the processor that do this. Okay. Interesting. That's awesome. So yeah, that's been, that's been it for our segment for uh, NBS Connect. This is going to be our home for a couple of weeks, so uh, keep enjoying it. Keep it locked at NBS Connect. I think one last word from these guys is, uh, I'm sure you guys are on social media. Yeah, uh, so yeah. Just follow us, uh, can play in, can, can, the Innovation Village on, on, on Innovation Villa on Twitter, uh, KW for Kampala Innovation Week. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So go in there, drop in a like, follow. And uh, you can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. We have a website. We have a mobile app. We are almost everywhere. Simply put in NBS Television and the hashtag is NBS Connect. It's been real. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. As usual, you can catch us same time, same place next week. Also, you can follow us on all our social media platforms. Yeah, so check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. We have a website. If you want more tech news, go to the Nile Post or Code or 2G. We have the best content out there. It's been real. See you guys next week.